warm welcome to each of you everyone we are in the east german city of leipzig to watch the champions league match day three fixture rb leipzig against srena zvezda group g of the 2023-24 ucl manchester city and bsc young boys also in the group today is the second place against the third founded in 1945 record champions of serbia srena zvezda internationally known as red star belgrade are a team of excellent supporter culture they have a decorated trophy cabinet as well being one of the two teams in eastern europe to win the champions league called the european cup back then after winning it in 1991 they also swept in the title of the intercontinental cup contested between the best european and the best south american team i documented three zvezda games before two in serbia one in hungary peak supporter effort was shown as you see on screen check out the serbia playlist for more link one in description five to ten thousand away supporters on the city reportedly coming from serbia and also from the serbian diaspora in germany and around europe time to talk about rb leipzig before getting into that i feel the necessity of mentioning the aim of this channel which is to produce impartial and educational documentaries about football but at the same time it stands 100% behind the supporter scene and culture. RB Leipzig was established by the energy drink company Red Bull in 2009. The two traditional clubs of the city, Shemi and Lokomotiv, were struggling in lower divisions. They are now both in the fourth tier, by the way, with Lok being the runners-up of the Cup Winners Cup in 1987. The city and its region was left without professional football. The energy drink company realized this possibility but they didn't want to start from the lowest tier. So they bought the playing rights of German fifth tier side as SSV Markranstedt. Dietrich Mateschitz, head of Red Bull back then, had the idea after establishing Red Bull Salzburg in Austria that why not have a similar one in Germany? Red Bull Salzburg established in 2005, RB Leipzig eventually in 2009. Before settling in Leipzig, they tried it with Fortuna Düsseldorf and FC St. Pauli as well, but the supporters stood up against it immediately. As far as I know, they can have only one commerce team per continent in the same sport. They already had Salzburg, so they had to find a way around this. Instead of Red Bull, they named the team Rasen Ballsport with obviously the same letter letter abbreviation that actually means turf ball sport club to have a direct translation to English. They also had to get around the 50% plus one rule, which is meant to guarantee the majority of a club's shares being owned by members. To this day, they have only 70 members with actual voting power, majority of them working for Red Bull. The project didn't fall through. They started climbing the ladder of German football, gained promotion to the Bundesliga in 2016 and finished second in their first season. They won their first title in 2022, the German Cup. They defended their title this year and added the German Supper Cup to it. Tradition and supporter culture is valued high in the world of football. Now being founded only 14 years ago as a symbol of commercialization in football, RB Leipzig became one of the most hated clubs in the world but definitely in Germany. On the other hand, this German area was really keen on having quality football and the realization of that by Red Bull was really clever, you have to admit. Being a commerce club, they are profit oriented and to be the most efficient in that, there is only one answer academy. Salzburg and Leipzig are amongst the best academies in Europe. My country Hungary can thank their biggest talent for half a century, Dominik Soboslai, to them. That's it for pretty much education, time to go and most probably join the away march. You're originally from Serbia, right? But you live in Germany now. Tell us the city and how your love came to Trena Zvezda. Since uh, I'm a little child, I'm a fan from Red Star because now I live in Germany and that was a chance for me to see this game today. Which uh, city are you living in, in Germany? Uh, in Würzburg. Tell us the team you support in Germany and the score prediction for today. Eintracht Frankfurt. I hope <laughs> 2 1 for us.
Roy, I'm a home supporter. Thanks for the possibility for interview. Do you support RB Leipzig since its foundation in 2009? Yeah, I began uh, 2010 after one year there when they started because uh, I think that was a good uh, reason to start to support them because uh, with the money from uh, Red Bull, the way will go to uh, the Bundesliga. So that was uh, the reason and I'm not from Leipzig so I don't support the other two clubs from here and I don't have problems. Your favorite team is RB Leipzig, is that correct? Yeah, 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 here in, in Germany, yes. What do you think the score is going to be today? I hope we win 2-0. Uh, what do you think about uh, being sort of hated in Germany? Is that also maybe in other countries like that? I don't have any problem. That's uh, maybe uh, because I uh, sell it, because uh, Red Bull uh, put there a lot of money, of course. But uh, you can see we buy uh, young players and sell them uh, for really much more money. The Red Bull put money, but Rasen Ballsport, the club, used the money really uh, in a good uh, sense. For good purposes. Yeah, because end of the season they make money. You suppose an extended his contract with uh, RB Leipzig. He's basically a legend here, maybe the first club legend of RB Leipzig, and uh, he will be celebrating now. Underway by the home team RB Leipzig.
13th minute dominant Leipzig they the lead assist by Xavi Simons and then David Raum from close in it's put it away while the keeper got a touch on it but he had no chance eventually 1-0 to the home team Seventy minute could have been easily 2-0 what a save that was by the Svesa keeper Maybe not because the referee is going to check and then it's probably a no. And there is indeed no. side Leipzig started well in this first half they got the goal as well but after that we didn't see such an enjoyable game there was a really big chance on Svezda's side from a corner Leipzig was dominant in this first half as we expected beforehand in terms of position and chances as well the away support is great the home support is loud sometimes but the away support is louder as expected though uh, really sitting really close to them so that was also expected beforehand that you can hear them better as well as the supporters in the vlog anyway looking forward to a bit more enjoyable second half a short service announcement before we continue traveling to create football content is incredibly special but it takes up a lot of time effort and money please support my work by sending thanks below the video with an amount you choose or via the channel's patreon page you see on screen and in the description if you don't have the intention of sending money please support hfv with a like a share and a subscribe on the journey of creating educational football content thank you very much for your help and a special shout out to my hosts if you're a teenager you just ignore what i said and spend the amount on yourself saying what i did at your age don't forget to check out the channel's social media either let's carry on a short celebration of uh, rb leipzig's team which won promotion to the third tier back then and the second half is underway by the guests, Rana Zvezda, still in blue.
took it on top left. There is nothing the keeper can do about that. Xavi Simons, former Paris Saint-Germain and Barcelona and PSV Eindhoven, of course, with that wonder goal. 59th minute, 2-0 for the home team, RB Leipzig. minute. This was actually in the game, but Zvezda get one back. The RB Leipzig players weren't too keen on giving back the ball. Um, Zvezda have still 20 minutes plus additional time to get anything out of this game. Yeah, uh, it's gonna do definitely really good to the atmosphere. It could have been 3 to a minute after the 3 1 went in. The substitute of RB Leipzig, Spanish Dani Olmo, scores after various rebounds, even a crossbar hit, as I saw it from here, 3 1, and that pretty much decides the game for Leipzig. Interesting experience with the traditional club expectedly losing. Manchester City with an away win in Switzerland, the group is progressing as expected. The third Europa League spot will be decided between the Swiss and the Serbian side, it looks like. Thanks to everyone for the experience and the interviews. I talked with the Leipzig supporter I interviewed about investments in German football. He pointed out that there was quite much cash splashed on Hamburger SV and Hertha BSC as well. But it didn't work at those two clubs at all or was misused and those two traditional sides are now in the second tier. This fact is correct and it 
itself, you need the money, but also smart management because it's useless without that. It still doesn't justify what Abby does to our supporter culture, but it was one to experience, I guess. Red Star supporters did a great job on the day, stood behind their team regardless of what actually stood on the scoreboard. Credit to them, I expected nothing less. This was your Leipzig's best match day experience. I was HFV. Don't forget to join me on social media if you like the content. See you in the next one. Bye.